Linda and welcome to Barlati's Body Bliss Fit in 5 Glide Cardio Sculpt. For today's workout all you will need is some gliding discs or if you're working out on a hard floor you can use some rags or on carpet you can use paper plates, whatever you have handy. We're going to get started with five groupings of exercises. So we're going to use the first one as a bit of a warm up but if you need to warm up more please go and do that and come back to it. We're going to step on the glider with a heel off so that's going to act like a break so make sure that whatever surface you have you're really safe and you're not going to hurt yourself. Okay we're going to start just sliding our legs side to side and reaching down towards the floor. Sliding out wide holding our tummy in and just reaching down with a nice flat back. Down and down, not too wide to start with, just warming everything up. Go for four, three, two, one. Now reach at waist height, reaching far across to the corner of the room. Four, three, two, one. Now reach overhead. Still sliding with those legs. Four, three, two, one. Now when you sweep your arms, Sweep as if you're pushing something behind you. Four, three, two, one. Now back down to the bottom. Three, two, one to waist height. Four, three, two, one. Overhead. Three, two, one. And scoop behind. Three, two, one. Again down. Three, two, one. Waist height. Two, one overhead two one and scoop this is the last set now i want you to part your legs and do like a skiing action okay forward and back with the legs remember to act as a break with our heel have your weight hinged forward slightly so it's forward and forward forward and forward once you get this i want to go a little bit faster I want to do four of these and then four jacks. We're going to pump our arms like this. Okay, a little bit faster. Four, three, two, one, then four jacks. Three, two, one, again. Four, three, two, one, four jacks. Three, two, one. Don't slide out too far on those jacks. One and out. Use your heels as brakes. One, arms to get the heart rate up. Two, one, nice soft knees. Three, two, one. Two more sets like this. Three, two, one, and out. Three, two, one. Last set, then we're gonna combine those two. Out, three, two, one. Now slide down, two, three, four. Middle, two, three, four. It's up two, three, four, it's scoop, two, three, four, now four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one, back to down, two, three, four, center, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, scoop it, two, three, four, then four, three, two, one and wide three two one just two more sets like that three four center two three four overhead two three four scoop behind two three four one two three four and jack two three four this is the last time three four Wide legs now, three, four, and up to the ceiling, three, four, scoop it, three, four, and ski, two, three, four, and jack, two, three, four, nice job. So that would have really got the heart rate up. Have a sip of water if you need to. The next exercise is a squat variation. So once again, your feet are in the center with your heel off, you're going to hold your tummy in and come down. So once again, your back is flat and you're hinged forward. We're going to step out to the left or your right, then pivot, then come back, come out further with our foot turned out, come back center, then to the other side. Out, 
pivot, center, wider, center. Out, pivot, wider out, center. Are you doing this with me? Pivot to the back, weight is in the heels, then wide and center. So it's only when you're going in that wide stance here that the foot turns out. So it's wider squat, pivot low to the ground, wide with your foot turned out. It's out, it's pivot, it's back, it's wide, it's in, it's out, pivot, try to keep your body hinged forward and your heel off, otherwise you will find this very challenging on your balance. Keep going, it's wide, it's down, get your legs to 90 degrees if you can, out wide and in. Foot to the front, keep your foot to the front here, still to the front, now out to the side and in. It's wide, keep going. If you want to hold on for this, you can. Okay, there's no shame in that. It's definitely a balance challenge. And in, it's wide, it's pivot, it's back, it's out, it's in. Keep going. I know it's lots of reps, but we're not holding any weights, okay? So we need to burn those large muscle groups out. Wide. Are you sinking low? Are your legs getting to 90 degrees? And you're never coming up. See, I'm staying low the entire time. Wide and in. Let's do four more sets. Pivot. Wide and in. It's out, pivot, wide, and in. Three more sets. Wide, out, turn your foot, and in. Out, pivot, turn your foot, and in. Two more sets. Can you do it? Is your heart rate up? If not, sink lower. All the way back. Sweat is starting to flow. This is the last set. Out, pivot, Wide and in, out, pivot, wide and in. Nice job, that was our squat series. Readjust your gliders. Now we're going to do a lunge series. We're gonna stay on one side and then we're going to go on the other side. So I'll show you from the side. You can lose one glider. The moving leg will have the glider underneath it. We're going to have a nice upright posture. Come forward in a lunge. Come back in a lunge, slide it up, raise your leg, slide it down, in, out, up. Keep going with me now. It's forward, it's back, slide in, knee up, it's down, in, back, up. Slide forward. Forward, if you need to hold on here, please do so. It's up, down, in, and up. I want you to sink really low as you pull that knee in on the second knee. It's up, hold your tummy in. Now, in and up. We're going to make this into a pyramid. So just go for another two singles and up. And then what we're gonna do is just do one of the front back lunges, but we're going to add on with those knee ups and those knee pull ins. And up. And it's back and up. So just go front lunge, back lunge once. And back. So we're starting with one. Knee pull in and up. So still only one lunge and back. But now we're going to pull in our knee twice. Then we're going to pull in our knee twice down the bottom and up. Then it's one lunge, front and back. Pull your knee up. Now we're doing three, two, sink low, three. Now hands on the ground, one, two, three. Back up. Now we're going to four and back. Pull your knee in, one, hinge forward, two, three, four. Now down, one, two, three, four, back out and up. We're going to five. We're just going to five and then back down again. 
and it's one. Hinge forward, two, three, four. Press your foot into the glider. Five, hinge down. One, two, three, four, five. Back out. Now we're back to four. One, up, and it's one. It's out and up. Two, three, your weight is in the other heel. Four, come down. It's one, two, three, four. Back out and pull up. Now it's back to three. Hand back, knee up. It's down, up, down, up, down, and one, two, three, back out and up. Weight is in the heel as you pull up. Now it's two. So it's knee up, down, up, fingers down, one, two, back out and up. This is last one. And back, knee up. It's down in and up. Okay, so we're going to the other side. Now we'll do a few singles again so you get used to it. So foot on, heel off as a break. You can put your hands on your waist or you can hold on to something here. We're starting with a front lunge to back lunge to knee up to down in out, up. It's a front lunge. It's a back lunge. It's a knee up, crunch your abs. It's a hinge down, knee in, out, up. Keep going. Front, get your knee all the way down if you can. It's a knee up. It's a in, out, up. Your weight is in the heel of your supporting leg and that's what's going to help you to activate the glute of that back leg. As you come down, you need to have your back flat. This is the last one before we start that pyramid. Down, see how my back is flat and then I really pull my way up. So this is the first one from the pyramid, just one of each. Down, in, out, and up. So we're going for one lunge, front and back, and now we're going for two. So hinge forward at the waist and up. Now down, one, two, back and up. Lunge it forward, lunge it back. It's up, we're going for three. So back, up, back, up, come down. One, two, three, long neck and up. Lunge front. Lunge back, we're going for four, it's up. These knee pulls can be nothing if you don't crunch your abs. Three, back and four, down. It's one, two, three, four, it's back and up. Now we're going to five, front and back. It's knee up, crunch your body in, hinge forward. Two, weight in the back heel. Three, your toes are free. Four, press your foot into the glider. Five, straight back. One, two, three, four, five, out and up. We're going back to four. If you can't put your fingers on the ground, put a chair or something next to you. One, or yoga blocks. Two, or weights on their ends. Three, four, come down. It's one, two, three, four. It's back and up. Now we're back to three. Front and back, crunch, hinge, two, hinge, three. It's okay if you wobble. One, two, Three, back and out, we're back to two. It's front and back, knee up. Hinge, knee up, come down. One, two, and up. And this is the last one, front and back, 
knee up, down, in, out, and up. Awesome job. Now, we're going to another single move with lots of little parts. So again, put the glider underneath your other leg, the one that you just didn't use. For this one, you might want to hold on to something. I'm gonna to attempt to do it without because I want a balance challenge and I will be wobbling. I want you to turn your feet out. We're going to do a curtsy lunge, but instead of going behind, we're gonna go in front. So with this leg, you're gonna go across in front, come out, then behind, come out. Now stay low, forward, back, forward, back. Then across in front, across behind, stay low, forward, back, forward, back. All the weight for those forwards and backs is loaded in this heel. Back, try to keep your legs straight. Back, then weight in the front heel, weight in the back heel, stay low, weight in the back heel. Back, push your foot into the glider. It's forward and back, hinge forward slightly. One, two. Is your front quad really burning now? That's what you should be feeling here. Tummies are pulled in all the way back as if you're drawing a circle with that leg. It's forward, transfer your weight and back, forward, back, forward, back. Keep going, four more sets and back, forward, back, push your foot into the glider. If you're starting to lose your glider, just take time to adjust it. Forward, back, forward, back. Is your foot still turned out? This is set two. Forward, back, forward, back, and this is the last one. But we're not finished after this. Forward, back, forward, back. Now stand up. Just shake this leg out a little bit, point and flex. We're just going to do two sets of eight pulses in each position at the front, at the back, and then two sets of eight forward backs. Then we're moving on to the other leg. So make sure your foot is on that glider, however you want it. Step with your feet, heels together, toes apart. We're going to come in front, come down, and just pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come out of that. Now foot behind and pulse. Weight in the front heel. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Take a breath for a second. Come back down. Extend your foot. This leg is bent. Forward, back. Okay, 16 times. It's one. This is slower. Two, three. Weight in this heel. Four. Push your foot into the glider. Five, six, seven. All for this leg. Eight. Eight more. Eight, Seven, tummies in, six, five, four, three, two, last one. That definitely was a balance challenge, but that's a good thing. We want to challenge ourselves all the time. Okay, other side. So remember, standing with your heel off in that V position, we're going forward, then back, then two arcs with a straight leg. Hand on your waist or hold on to something. It's up to you, even if you want them by your side. Deep breath in. So it's forward and back. The first one is always gonna be hard. Extend, front, back, straight leg. Front, back, stay low. It's forward. You're never coming out of this bent leg position. Front, back, front, back. Back. Make sure your weight is in 
the heel, not in the toes, especially when you're doing these arcs. Back, front, back. It's forward, you're transferring your weight here, and back, stay low, front, back, straight leg, push into the glider. It's forward, are you feeling this yet? And back, really loading the front quad. Back, front, back. Let's keep going, forward, and back, straight leg, front, back, front, back. Four more sets. And back, front, back, front, back. This is three. And back, get low if you can. Front, back, front, back. As you fatigue, you're gonna wobble, hinge forward slightly with your waist, it'll help you. Front, back, front, back, two more, down, and back, front, back, front, back, last one, down, and back, front, back, front, back. Oh, come up, point and flex through that foot, and we just have to do two sets of eight for each one of those positions, and then we're doing abs. Are you ready? Feet apart, foot back on that glider. We're coming to the front first. So set yourself up, legs are split, and we're going down for two sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, now slide behind and go down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, two sets of eights for those rotations. These are the tough ones. Come down, extend your leg. It's front and back for two, three, Weight is in the heel, four. Push your foot into the glider, five. Six, tummies are in, shoulders are down. Seven, eight, flat back here, eight. Keep going, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last, one, fantastic job. I just wanna use the opportunity to pull your heel to your glutes, stretch that out for a second. And then other side, because we're gonna sit down now. That was tough. So, because we used our large muscle groups, even though we didn't jump around and it was all low impact, your heart rate would have been up and the sweat was probably flowing. We're gonna sit on our butt and we're going to put our heels on that glider. We're going to blow all the air out and C curve through our upper body. I want you to try and keep your arms up. If you can't, you can place them here by your side, but if you can, you can just keep them up with your fingertips joined, okay? We're going to push our heels into the gliders. If you don't do this, you're not gonna feel it. So push your heels in, and we're gonna go back and out and in. Out and in, out and in, out and in. So I want you to stay curved through the upper body so your chest is curved forward. Out and in, and in. Keep going. We're going to add some oblique action into this in a second. Extend all the way out so your legs are actually straight at the end of that extension, okay? Out and in. Just go for four and three, two, and one. Blow out on the in. Now, twist to this side, and as you come in, tap your elbow to the inside of the front leg. Out and in. Out 
and in. Is it hard yet? And in, out, and in. Go for eight. Push your heels into the gliders. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to turn to the back. So it's tap your back leg with your front elbow. You need to blow out as you crunch. The further you come out with your arms and legs, the harder this will be. You're wringing out your waistline every time you come in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Just hold on for a second. Sit up, deep breath in. We're going to do that again, but we're going to go front, center, back, center. Okay, legs stay the same. It's just your upper body that's moving from front to back. So C curve again, all the air out. You're curving your chest forward. Your fingertips are touching. We're going to go out. It's front, it's center, it's back, it's center. Push your heels into the gliders. If you're not doing that, you're not going to feel your lower abs engaging as much. It's front, it's center, it's back, it's center. The more you lean back with your upper body, the more you're going to feel it. It's back, it's center. Keep breathing through it, back and center. Lots of reps. I know this is tough, but we haven't done any abs in this whole workout, except for those little knee up crunches we did, but that wasn't exactly hard, was it? So we need to go out with a bang. A few more sets. Can you do it? Just breathe and you will survive. Let's go for four more sets. Middle, back, middle, front. That was one. Middle, back, middle, front. That was two. Middle, back, middle, front. That was three. Just one more. Back, middle, front. <laughs> That was four. Okay, let's stretch this out. Come onto your tummy. Oh, you don't need your gliders. <sighs> Just stretch out your abs. Just keep your head up, stretching through the front of your abs. If you want to, you can come up onto your arms like this. Stretching a little bit more. And then come back down. Just grab your heel and we're going to stretch out the front of your thigh. Those curtsy lunge combinations definitely got into those quads. So we want to stretch them. And then switch up other side. Just draw your heel in as close as you can. And then we're just going to come up and bring our legs out to the side. Just bend one in. And I want you to keep your foot flexed and just lean it over, stretching through the side body as well as that leg. And then other side, stretch over. Lengthening everything out. That heart rate is coming down nicely. And then just for the inner thighs. Anytime you use the gliders, you will find that your inner thighs get a good workout, especially if you're doing side to side moves because you're stretching out long and by planting your foot into the glider, you're activating your inner thigh. 
So even through the jacks, those side-to-side -side lunges, all of that was inner thigh. Bring your feet together and just butterfly your legs out. And then cross your legs and just hinge forward for your glutes. The curtsy lunges and the regular forward and back lunges really got the glutes. Then switch which leg is in front. Same thing. And finally, just stretch your legs out and bring your chest towards your hamstrings. Ouch, my hamstrings are really tight at the moment. So just come down as low as you feel comfortable. Just stretch that out. That is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my Fit in 5 Glide Cardio Sculpt workout. I hope you got your sweat on like me, and I'll see you at the next segment. <laughs>